Well, my friends, today has not gone quite like I thought it would, but it's been a good day. So I've been out here at the farm and doing a whole bunch of weed eating, mowing, trying to get this farm ready for the wedding, um, but also just trying to maintain it for my parentals. And basically my hair is full of dust and grass. But you know it's a good day when your hair is full of dust and grass because you've been outside doing fun stuff. So that area is cleaned up, it's looking good. Now, I loaded up my stuff because I'm actually not staying here over the weekend, gonna be staying in Knoxville. Y'all, this is a crazy time of life where I'm just going everywhere all the time, but that's okay. So, over here, it's kind of my last like boom of bachelor life, you know what I'm saying? These last, what, three and a half, four weeks of just bachelorness, so. Might as well enjoy it. That was one thing I was thinking today. I was like, man, you know what? This this time I could be, I could be like, oh my goodness, can't wait until the wedding, you know, all that stuff. And I am very excited about it. But keyword. However, this is also a potentially awesome time of just jo enjoying life, enjoying the adventure, preparing my heart and my mind to be able to be a blessing and an encouragement to my future wife, Gabriella, and just enjoying the joy of life, of, of working hard, doing very, uh, doing um, beneficial, be beautiful things with my skill set. So that's the goal of the next three weeks or so, really, my life, is just to use my time, energy, possessions to honor God, honor people, and enjoy the adventure. So that is my focus, and currently what that looks like is, see all these, all these weeds right here? That's why I'm going to whack down. First I tried with the weed eater, but realized that my head trimmer is going to be the way to go. Just kind of whittling down on it, so I don't know about you guys, but I like to see big transformations like that. So let me get this grass out of my hair, and then you guys can see what's going on also. I don't know if you hear that, but... We do have some stormage rolling in, it seems. So we'll see if we get drenched or not. So, here we go, folks. Here we go. And then I'll let that decompose, and then by the time that's all more decomposed, I'll be able to weed eat it down and finish it off. Oh yeah, some good exercise. Oh yeah, good times, good times. Heading out. Y'all, you know what I'm tired of? Like, big time tired of city water. Sick and tired of city water. It's got all that chlorine and blah 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 in it. Let's go get ourselves some spring water. Oh goodness. Got a little bit close to that tree. Oh yeah. Okay, we're good now. Going down through here. Uh-huh. Y'all, that's what happens when you live in the mountains. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. Up in here, where the spring water is. Oh, yeah, we'll get there eventually. you what y'all this spring water is the best comes right out of the mountain right there oh yeah but I got to get it from the tank I'm gonna fill this hush puppy up mm -hmm. should last me about three days in this heat I've been sweating a lot
This is the best water ever. Oh, straight out of the mountain. Oh yeah, that is what I'm talking about. Whew. Refreshing. Okay, let's hit the road. Just arrived. There is the material that needs to go into these boxes. Hey, look at this, it's sunny enough we can see them now. Let's check these out. Nice, look at that. Damn. Looking pretty good. Nice. Alright. Gotta start offloading this. And then, honestly, I might get a little more work in, but I've only got like a little bit of time because I was at the farm so long to get this done. Then I gotta get the trailer, pick up a mower, take it to my brother, sell it to him. And then it's time for dinner. So y'all, crazy days, crazy times. But hey, we're getting it done. Let's start on this soil. All that, um, those, that wind come in and yeah. I looked on the radar. Uh -huh. There was flash flood warning. No. All right, y'all. Mr. Juan is helping me. They're making some pavers over there. He's filming me. I'm putting him to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I got this. Compost is going in. Compost and topsoil mixture. Looking good. Like I said, I'm trying to get it offloaded so I can have some dinner tonight. You hungry for dinner, Juan? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Y'all get hungry pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Anytime I get compost and uh, topsoil mixture, I really like it to have a look like this. You know, you want the material to be, you can come in closer here, more decomposed, but also you can tell it's got soil in there as well. See that clay content? Yep. And you've got the the, the material here that's been breaking down that looks like it was some hay or grass and uh but you can tell the worms i saw, saw a worm earlier that's mm -hmm. always a good sign it's been really breaking it down okay so the good combination is the way to go one one thinks that it's going to fill two up and i agree with them <laughs> <laughs> gotta pull it this way Good to go. Thanks, Juan. You're welcome. Anytime I'm doing raised beds, I always get any logs or old twigs and put them in the bottom, like these guys. And those act as moisture retention and as a, uh, a helpful way to inoculate the soil with, with um, like f uh, fungi, different types of fungi, mycorrhizae fungi, and they also, as they break down, the roots of your plants are going to just going to start feeding on those guys and uh, it'd be like a fertilizer so it's moisture retention fertilizer and inoculant for beneficial fungi so i do like to add in any kinds of like you know little sticks and stuff in the bottom Folks, looking like we are done for the day. There we go, there we go. Later on I'll come back and you know wash that off and stuff. But I'm done for the day. Thanks for watching the Garden Guy channel.